What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. I'm playing, I'm laying stuff out. It's easier just to draw on the damn thing so you can get it straight in your head as to what you're gonna do. Um, I've marked out this plate. Um, I don't know, can you see this? I like blued it up and scribed it and stuff just to get an idea. It is only rough, can you see that? I don't know. <laughs> but I think we're in, I think this is gonna work. So, um, I need to change Brian about because he's still got that angle plate on him at the minute. I'm definitely going to need the vice because I need to get this cleaned up. Um, today is Sunday. I ain't got long in here, but I want to see how much I can get done. Um, just because, you know, I, I want to try and make progress with this. Over this coming week, I want to get most of that done if I possibly can. Do. I don't think I'm going to. I think I've just been volunteered for a couple of jobs. So like the reason I've only got a certain amount of time is because we're getting all the Christmas decks out today. So I'm going to have to be back at a reasonable hour. So, might as well crack on, eh? God, it's a good brew. Right, let's chomp you up. <laughs> That's made a nasty piece of something look an awful lot nicer. <laughs> Don't actually take much, does it? Um, I need to deburr the ends and then we're going to start sticking some holes in this, I reckon. Where's my bit of plate? Oh, what did I say that was going to be? 60 mil. Right. Um, and how far up? 15. Right, so I'm going to deburr this end. Let me get to sticking some holes in it. So that's my holes drilled, which is all good. Looks all right, actually. Um, so now what I want to do is flip it 90 degrees, find a centre, and we're going to mill out um, space for this. How wide is this? Ish. Six mil. Right. Six mil. Have I got a six mil cut? Yes, I do. Awesome. Yeah, 
стреляю. I'll deburr everything afterwards. I just want to get it done, really. A couple of little burrs, but nothing major. Right, let's um, give you a quick clean as well. Right, I'm not sure if this is a thing or not, but I started milling this slot out, which is obviously going to clamp onto the plate. The only trouble is, um, obviously I'm going to be chomping my way through this and we're going to get to a certain point where there's going to be bugger all holding it this end. So I'm only supporting the piece of work from that end because the slot will go all the way through. And I don't want any of this getting loose and floppy and flappy and everything else, because that's the way the accidents happen. So, I'm not sure if it's a thing, but I'm doing it anyway. All I'm gonna do is, I've, I've left myself three mil on this end anyway. Um, so I'm gonna drill a six mil hole, three mil in, so I've got some wall thickness here, and I'm gonna do another one at that end, just so I've got clearance, because that way I can just mill up into that position without you know binding up on the end or losing any support from this end does that make sense it does in my head um and like i said i'm not sure if it's a thing or the right way of doing it but i'm doing it anyway so there <laughs> Right then, well that's looking all right for an old bit of scrap alley. <laughs> Mind your ears. Yeah, that'll do. So, um, with the end of this, what I ended up doing, can you see this? So I was doing the slot down the middle. I did leave like this three mil on the end of it, and that was all the way up here. Um, so the very last thing I did, having got the slot all the way through, is just to whittle away at that. I have left a little bit in the corner, but this is all just going to get radiused off anyway. I'll probably just do it on the linisher. I don't really need to get the rotary table out. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a jig. But it does look a lot better than a scrap bit of alley. <laughs> so literally all I've got to do now, shove hole in the end, tap it for an M10, and we'll go down basically as far as we can, and then just radius the ends off. And that's it, job done. Awesome! Right, let's, um, how am I going to do that? Can I get him in there? Probably not. Well, I don't know, let's give it a go. So that's a tapping drill, 8.5, which is what's needed for an M10. I've only just got clearance, look. <laughs> um, I had to use a collet. I quite like using collets for chucks, uh, for drills anyway. Just, I think they get a better hold of them. But there wasn't a lot of room. The drill had to go in with the collet. <laughs> right. I ain't sure how much of that you saw. 
I thought that was M10 and it's M12 so um, me shoving a 8.5 mil drill in wasn't big enough to get the tap in <laughs> and then I measured it and it dawned on me what I'd done so I've re-drilled and tapped it so 8.2 tapping drill and then run the M12 tap through it my, my threaded rod fits in it's got a lock nut on it it will have a washer underneath it as well and I even had a go with the liner shirt and stuck a radius on it it's not perfect not by a long shot I need to do that again but we is basically in I think so this is the plate I'm using for the jobby there we go I haven't deburred it I probably should have done that first <laughs> but it fits that'll do that'll do a treat so I've just got to make this bit so that is going to get chomped into a quarter circle sort of shape so we're going to have the main bar here quarter circle there pivot point here and I'll slot an arc into it for this this um, this other pinch bolt shove some bolts through it and we're in that's going to put the steering head where I want it to be on my jig which is coming together quite nicely as to be said um, I do need to make some cones. I am just going to do them out of Delrin. It should be fine. It's quite tough stuff on that. And if I get the taper the same as the, the um, bearing races in the headstock, it will snug up lovely. So I can't see that being an issue. I'll spin them up on the lathe. That'll be fine. And then I can get that done. I might even take that into work. And if I get time, you know, during breaks and whatnot, and if the machinery is free, then I'll, um, I'll have at it and I'll do that. But stick that on that and bolt this on and the front bit is basically done then i'll move on to something else i don't know what it'd be could be the engine could be the swing arm and shock bit i don't know <laughs> either way it's coming together so anyway there you go this took way longer than i thought it would as well uh mostly because of that stupid slot down the middle because it's only six mil but it's quite wide that way and I was just worried about tool deflection and stuff and also you know it closing up because it was only supported really in one side of the vice so I just took it slow and steady mil and a half at a time but that's 90 mil long so that's why it took a while but anyway that's where I'm leaving it thank you ever so much for watching we will see you on the next one Later.